Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm coming to you looking like an actual crazy person because I don't got no eyebrows and I skip in my eyebrows because you guys have seen plenty of queens cover their eyebrows and put on foundation. You don't need to see me do it. There's also other videos on my channel of me doing it. But like a real beauty guru, here I am. I did one eye off camera and now I'm gonna do this eye on camera. So I'm just starting off with blending in my I guess what would be my transition shade, which is just this light pink. And today I'm really just gonna be doing my classic, if you wanna say signature, drag face. Nothing really too crazy. Also, you guys, as I'm recording this voiceover, last night I literally started, I just started watching AJ and the Queen. Oh my fucking God. It is so funny. I really did not expect it to be so good. Just because Lady Bunny did post that. Oh, here, let me explain this for a second. So here I'm showing you that my eyebrows were sweating when I was doing my eye makeup. So because of the sweat and the glue, there's like these weird patchy spots in the glue. We're just gonna do our best to cover that up. It's not really a big deal. Once you have all your eyeshadow on and your eyelashes and everything, you really won't see it, but I was just addressing that. Back to what I was saying. AJ and the Queen is fucking incredible. You really all have to go watch it if you haven't watched it yet. I'm really, really into it. I've only watched the first episode, and I don't want to spoil anything, but there was a moment when the guy who plays RuPaul's roommate, who, off topic, is like the best character in the whole show, asks the kid AJ what AJ stands for, and the kid says, asshole jerk off, and the roommate just says, isn't that funny how some people just get a name that suits them? Talking to a nine-year-old, which just makes it even better. Here I am adding some white as a brow highlight because I'm not actually going to draw on eyebrows. And I don't know, I'm thinking for my next video, I'm either going to make my first sewing video or I may start do like a episode recap or review of AJ and the Queen because it was honestly so funny. <clears throat> Excuse me. And there were so many funny moments just in the first episode that it could be like a 20 minute highlight reel. I could not believe it. Oh, look at me tapping off that excess. Love that. Oh, so I just realized I have not said at all what I've been doing. I'm putting some darker purple into my crease to add some depth and definition to my eye look. And if I do make my next video a sewing video, it's probably going to be just a simple leotard with like a detachable skirt for reveal because that's something I just made and I really like the way it came out and I want to make another one so if I do make another one I'm gonna record it and I'll post it on here as a little tutorial even though I really have no business telling people how to sew because I have no actual knowledge on sewing I just know how to work the sewing machine here I am cutting my crease and I soon realize that I am way too far from the mirror to be doing this so in a second I'm gonna cut and I'm gonna cut my crease off camera just because I there I, 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 no it just looks horrible. She's back with a fresh cut crease. She's back with a fresh cut crease. Guess who's back? The queen is back. I'm just adding some good old silver to the cut crease and I'm just setting the cream with the silver eyeshadow so it's nice and pigmented going in with just a little bit more purple to darken it and a lot of times when you're cutting your crease you cover up a lot of the work that you did so I'm just going back in and reiterating the pieces that are already there and then as you can see I'm also drawing in some not actual eyebrows they're the suggestion of eyebrows we'll say it's just a light pink it really I don't know why I did that I kind of don't like the way it looks and I wish I didn't do it but can't take it back now so we're just gonna have to deal with it here I am just obviously doing my winged liner, and the same thing with the cut crease. I realized about 10 seconds into it that I am way too far from the mirror, and I fucked it up. So I just did it off camera, and now I'm doing the bottom eyeliner, and I'm also drawing in my like little inner corner thing. I don't know what the hell it's called. Okay, so here I am just adding a little bit more purple to the bottom lash line. Every time I say, here I am, I just want to start singing Kelly Clarkson's Here I am, once again, I'm torn into pieces, can't deny Okay, oh my god, I'm too good, I'm gonna get copyright strikes Google's gonna be like, that's literally Kelly Clarkson singing But after the purple, I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of pink So it doesn't look too harsh and crazy 
And as you can see right here, I'm like taking my finger and I'm just pinching the tip of the brush so it's like an even tighter packing. I don't know what I'm trying to say, honestly, never mind. Here I am I'm brushing off the bake. Going in and I'm just going to be adding the white eyeliner. And this part, I don't know what it is, but this is like my favorite part of my makeup. I just love this like white highlight on the outer corner of my eyes. I feel like it really really adds so much depth and definition and it really just makes me look like me and I'm just blending that out with a little brush I'm really not doing anything crazy oh my god but back to AJ and the Queen because I'm literally obsessed with it I'm I I hope that they're getting a season two I'm almost a hundred percent positive it is gonna get a season two because everyone online is obsessed with it everyone's loving it people are really really liking it here I'm just going in and contouring, and I'm doing the contour with the same shades of pink and purple that I used on my eyes. I didn't use any browns or anything in my contour, I just used the purple. I don't know about you guys, but I actually really do not like watching Get Ready With Me's. I find them very boring. Like, me watching this and doing this voiceover, I am bored. So hopefully you guys are not bored. Also, off topic, I really don't like don't hate on me please but I do not understand ASMR it makes me very uncomfortable like it's like nails on a chalkboard for me like just the sound hearing people's chewing and breathing that close it gives me like the chills I can't handle it I don't like it I don't get the ASMR craze as you can see I've just changed into my little outfit and I'm just gonna do my lips and my eyelashes off camera and here is our final look now I ignore the wig because I didn't brush it as you could tell from the back it looks crazy and it's also not glued down but whatever but thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this I sped it up really fast because this video could have literally been like 45 minutes but no one would have watched that so make sure that you subscribe to my channel make sure you follow me on Instagram and I love you bye